Hi everyone, I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. Last week, I have shared with you the making of transparent soap base made from scratch and we didn't use alcohol and no stearic acid. This week, I would like to share with you the testing of the transparent soap base. If you haven't watched the video yet, I'll put the link in the description box below. Shout out to Anais K. Um, she commented in the previous video and she said, Hi, thanks for your video. Can we use this soap as melt and pour soap so we can melt it again? The answer is yes, the soap is remeltable and in this video, I'll be sharing with you the ladder test, pH test, melt and pour test, clarity test, hardness test, and moisture test of the soap. So, without further ado, let's get started! Let's start with the ladder test. Remember that for this recipe, we used 100% coconut oil with 0% super fat. So we can expect that it will produce plenty of bubbles. And even if the super fat is zero, you don't have, we don't have to worry about it because it will be compensated with high amounts of humectant added in our soap. We added glycerin, propylene glycol, and sorbitol. These three ingredients are humectant and therefore, it helps to hydrate the skin. Now let's move to pH testing. Here I have used the pH paper and now let's compare the color of the test strip with the comparator. It looks to me that it is somewhere between 7 or 8. Let me know on whether you think it is 7 or is it 8. Help to write it down in the comment section below. Now let's move to the melt and pour test. As per our normal protocol, we have to cut our soap into smaller pieces. And today, I'll be using a cup warmer to melt our soap. While we are waiting for our soap to melt, I'd like to thank you for joining me again this week. If you are new here in my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my soap making videos, DIY tutorials, and a lot more. Just like you, soap making is my passion so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. Now we are ready to pour the soap into our mold and as you can see, for this recipe, even if we didn't use alcohol and we didn't use stearic acid, we can still remelt our soap because I've added propylene glycol. So if your sole purpose is to make a transparent soap and you don't have any intention of remelting the soap base again, you can directly add your colorants and fragrance oil or essential oil. We are just testing the transparent soap base. I won't be adding any fragrance oil or essential oil or any colorant today. Next, I used isopropyl alcohol to eliminate the bubbles on top of our transparent soap. Then we can let it set and after 3 hours, we are ready to unmold our melt and pour soap. Let's start with the leftover piece and let's put it on top of the book so that we can check on whether the soap is still clear after remelting. And then later on, we will compare this soap against the soap that we made last week. Now let's move to the clarity test. Let us compare the soaps that we have now. These are the remelted soap. Let me just put the soap mold aside. And here is the transparent soap that we made last week. I intentionally kept this soap um, exposed and I didn't wrap it so that 
I can show you that the clarity of the soap will change when it is exposed to the environment mainly because of the high amount of humectant that we have added into our soap. That is why it's very important for you to immediately wrap your soap base or your transparent soap to avoid glycerin beads. Now let's move to hardness test. I previously analyzed commercially available soaps for their hardness and if you are interested to watch that video i'll put the link in the description box below together with the link of the transparent soap base that we made from scratch last week let us test the soap that we made last week so this is the this is the freshly prepared soap from scratch but it is already one week old and the hardness result is 12.6 kilogram per cm squared and today we are using a fruit sclerometer i have installed the 8 mm accessory so it can test 1 to 24 kilogram per cm squared hardness now let's move to the remelted soap Remember that I have unmolded the soap after 3 hours. Let's check on whether the soap is still hot. It's 32.1 versus 31.8. So we only have a few decimal unit difference between the two temperature. And we can consider that as negligible. Therefore, we can say that once the soap is remelted it becomes slightly softer now let's move to the moisture test and this is the first time that i'll be sharing with you on how do i test the moisture of my soap i am using a moisture meter md4g it's very easy to use we just have to minus off the final moisture result 42 minus 12 is equal to 30% moisture for the soap that we made last week. And remember that I intentionally exposed this soap because we know that the humectant will absorb the moisture from the environment and we are taking advantage of that because that moisture is actually good for our skin. In between testing, we have to make sure that the sensor are dry and now let's move to the next one initial reading is 14 percent and final reading is 39 percent it's 39 so 39 minus 14 is actually 25 and as you can see the moisture of the one week old exposed in environment is higher compared to the remelted soap thank you so much soap sisters and bubble brothers i hope that you enjoyed the moisture test and if you would want me to also test the commercially available soaps for moisture and the other tests that i would normally do for my soap aside from the ones that i've mentioned here please let me know and write it down in the comment section below and if you have any other um, soap or recipes that you would like me to share uh, please let me know too thank you for joining me today if you enjoyed what i shared please leave a like and a comment below remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep you posted of my weekly soap making video diy tutorials and a lot more Soap making is my passion so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. And happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!